Hey everyone, Les here from BG Trading. Hope you are well. Today is 4th of January. I'm doing the second video of the year. Going to be analyzing WebJet. The SX code is WEB. This is a travel stock, which I believe it is in a strategic position for us to take a look. So let's analyze that together and find out whether this could be another fantastic opportunity to make some good profit, or we should just wait and see what's happening. Let's have a look. Just want to remind you, this is not a financial advice, it's just us from BG Trading, sharing with you how we apply our strategies to know when to buy and when to sell stocks, how we apply our KPIs and indicators to set up targets, stop losses, and most importantly, avoid FOMO. So if you like the way we trade, make sure you subscribe to this channel and take a look on our Facebook community, Buy Growth Sell Strategy for Share Traders. Great place to be which I will be posting the links for the analysis so you can have almost full access to all the information, right? So let's jump straight into this analysis. This is um, WebJet. Now, everyone knows that travel sector has been highly, uh, like hardly affected by COVID, right? Over at the last couple of years. Now we're moving towards the third year of pandemic and any pandemic normally lasts from 12 to 36 months. Now this is the, the last uh, six to 12 months of the pandemic. Now we have a vaccine, we have uh, knowledge how to handle the, the a pandemic in the modern times and we have now a lot less lockdowns around the world. A lot more people traveling, people now leaving. The world is now living with COVID. Provided those businesses have been highly affected, I want to show you some advantages the and now like companies like WebJet now having compared to pre-COVID levels. Even though the revenue is still not even closer to what it used to be. But this company is expecting to uh, be back in the same, same level of revenue of pre-COVID levels in second and third quarter of 2023. So therefore, it is a stock that we should at least be watching. WebJet, if you don't know, is uh, the digital travel business. Uh, if you go to webjet.com, you can book uh, flight tickets. Uh, WebJet has three different divisions. One is B2B called WebBet, uh, which is uh, all full analyzed here. Web bet pretty much business to business and then in this analysis i also talk about the create advantage advantage and this is one of the key uh let's say for instance uh sort of a key diversified advantage this company has over for example a fly center which obviously it's a much bigger company than WebJet, but then WebBeds, uh, it, it sort of look into corporate markets. It's a digital provision uh, of hotel rooms and global partners that supplies business to business corporate market. So key advantages of this business now after COVID, the company has drastically reduced its cost to run the same business they used to do before. The strong, very strong growth prospect as borders, borders are opened. Also, a lot less competition. Now, look, with a lot of the players being out of business, now there's a lot of less competition. And this is the time at which WebJet will come back in a much better shape. 
Uh, also, lower TTV. If you don't know what lower TTV is, it's a finance metric which is at scale of 8% revenue. The TTV and 3% cost TTV to drive 5% EBITDA. So this is a ratio. And obviously, it's being proved. Uh, the, the higher it is uh, on the EBITDA side and the lower it is on the cost side, the better the company uh, is in shape. Now, uh, this is also, I'm not going to talk about here, but if you can see, uh, it's still quite a lot uh, revenue. The booking the number in the bookings is still 54% uh, uh, lower than pre-COVID levels. However, you can see a massive jump from, uh, a, from the first half of 2021 compared to the uh, first half of 2022. So four times higher, which is great. Also, you can see a massive increase in revenue, which brings brings back confidence to the stock, right? Now, cost is down by 31% in this particular operation. And also, uh, there's a whole new uh, organiz organizational structure with dedicated CEO only for web bad businesses. Also, I want to highlight here, go see. Also, it's always important to remind that the key operation in Australia and New Zealand of Webjet ATO, that's what they call, uh, it's also a benefit from the opening, benefiting from the opening uh, trade with bookings over 284% increase from last year. Revenue also had a massive increment here from last year, 802% increase in revenue. And obviously the EBITDA, which is extremely important metric. It doesn't matter if there is more revenue and more uh, bookings, but if the EBITDA is compromised. And then once again, if you I want to know a little bit about uh, the finance, you're going to see that the companies like that. Why by now, be later companies are going down because the ad that keeps being slashed. So, this company, Webjet, really looking to uh, sort of restore uh, the EBITDA and therefore bringing back profit. Where obviously, uh, investors want to see dividends. Yeah. Now, uh, I wanted to pinpoint the fact that Webjet will be. Uh, will be looking into a growth phase a little bit, potentially with more acquisitions, okay? More acquisitions and more, uh, more expansion through the operation, especially now that the company is even in a better position in the market than before, okay? Another thing it's important to, uh, to highlight here is that in March 2021, Webjet has made an investment, 25% investment in Lock Trip Holdings in UK, with a further option to increase in 51%. This option will increase the revenue projection and therefore bring in more revenue. Uh, we expect to have more profit as well. So if you don't know what a Lock Trip is, Lock Trip provides a B2C like business to consumer, hotel marketplace underpinned by a blockchain economic powered by utility token, LLC. Now also a uh, Webjet has invested into international markets by acquiring 100% of Canadian travel technology company called Trip Ninja. So more acquisitions, more diversification, more technology as well. That's why Webjet looks into different technology that not just brings more revenue, but improves its current operations. Now let's take a look into the chart formation, see what's happening on a technical side of the stock and see whether uh, it is a good time to buy or not from the technical side as well, not just from the fundamental side. Now, as you can see here, this blue indication means that the, uh, this is a 52 weeks range. If you see what's happening here, if you have put some money in Webjet 
literally 52 weeks ago, 4th of January 2020, you would be now up for by 4%, only 4%. So this is why it's extremely important, it's critical to understand the stock behavior more than uh, just uh, having the money sitting there and hope for the best. You need to understand the stock behavior and then pick stocks that if you're trading, pick stocks that could be uh, could have some a significant price share price swings and that's where we make money then you lock in profit and then buy it again at the lower pace now if you look at here you see that we have a couple big opportunities after let's say for instance if you bought webjet here a year ago you had this opportunity to uh, lock in easily 30 percent and then uh, and then we have this crash here and using this strategy, you would be buying here at the bullish intersection and then 17% still can not apply BGS 20 strategy. That's why I'm actually going to disregard this opportunity here, but I would definitely consider this bullish intersection uh, level one and saying that you had another 36% range share price uh, swing towards to the upside there you could have made 36 percent at least 20 percent at least applying bgs 20 strategy and locking twice 20 percent plus 20 percent would be 40 percent return and then obviously waiting for the stock to go under sma and buy back around this sort of level here and that's now where precisely where the stock sitting at a very strategic point. Now our VIP members know they know when to buy and when to sell. They also uh, know how to apply the strategy to set up the target. So if you want to take a look on our uh, online course, extremely important because you can, you, if you don't want to become a VIP member, just go and take a look on the online course and start applying the strategy yourself so you can set up targets and the stop losses accordingly. Now it can it make your own decisions. But now this is a classic opportunity here because this is a stock that has been trading into an ascendant, like ascendant trend, right? But it hasn't actually taking to the next level for the last 12 months. You could have traded quite a lot. So this is, uh, again, uh, I'm positive about all the travel sector, especially Webjet. So uh, take a look at this. And tomorrow, guys, tomorrow, we will be uh, uh, talking about all the stocks that I believe could be uh, potentially uh, sitting into a really good uh, share price opportunity to buy at the current levels and you don't want to miss that so make sure you stay on for the tomorrow's video and don't miss the opportunities also please uh, let us know what you think about this analysis if you agree if you don't agree with us uh, at the comments below and obviously put a like uh, make us um, happy well, guys, this is, was about Webjet. Great opportunity to look into uh, this stock at the moment as it's trading down, but it's still into, uh, sorry, it's trading uh, below the SMA, but it's still into ascendant trend. So that's why we wanted to be buying this stock. Have a fantastic afternoon and I'll see you next time. The whole idea when we designed BG Trading BGS 20 strategy was to use only a set number of indicators to make it simple and clear to understand and to be able to apply our KPIs very easily and very effectively. So you don't have to be any Wall Street smart person to be able to apply those strategies. We really hope this course will help you to make better decisions and make successful trades. See you in the course.